rough, rough, rough. Hope that dude's all right. Check it out. It has stopped raining, finally. After days and days and days. Holy crap. Uh, so, I just uh, listened to uh, Paperboy's last two vlogs. And he has left Maverick. Everybody go to his channel and wish him good luck over at Oakley. He's going to be uh, doing some doing some dump-in trailer work. They do a lot of grain and stuff like that. Loose stuff. But anyway, we're going over to Monroe, North Carolina. Pick up some pipes. Let's go to Nashville. Let's go. coming out the wrong different wrong way yeah yeah must be important must be important Office over to our right. There's also a bathroom around that corner right there. If you ever come to Charlotte Pike and you're wondering where you're supposed to go, let's see if they got me preloaded. Then we're going to have to switch over all this stuff. Hey everybody, look how dingy it is. Holy cow. I guess winter's here, huh? It's our load. She's tall one. It's all done up, ready to go. Uh, I still got to put those two tarps up. But other than that, we're out of here. Uh, we're in a little bit of traffic in this little town of wherever we're at. I don't even know where we're at. It doesn't matter. So anyway, so my wife and I watched uh, Bullet Train this weekend. Have you guys seen Bullet Train with Brad Pitt? That's a pretty good movie. Lots of action. So on, in that movie, I'm not going to give away uh, uh, a whole lot of spoilers. Uh, if you haven't seen it and you want to watch it, you know, go ahead and click off. But anyway, uh, 
<clears throat> in that in that movie there is a snake and it's called the boom slang anybody ever heard of this snake I had never heard of this snake before but apparently when you when you get bit by this snake it uh, it, it, it congeals your blood uh, after a while you don't even know you it's hurting until until it's too late so anyway uh, uh, telling that story to tell this story I'm listening to a book and like I said I've never heard of this snake before until this weekend so I'm listening to this book that was written a, f a few years ago and now they're talking about that snake what the hey apparently I need to stay away from this boom slang snake leave a comment down below if you've heard of that you guys want to see how bad some of this stuff can be I am going up a huge mountain can you tell? <laughs> All right, now we get to go down the mountain. Sometimes, man, you just gotta take it slow. Make sure you watch the people in front of you. What's going on, trucking junkies? We're here in Nashville down in some industrial area businesses all this good stuff we're at Ferguson's and they're unloading my truck it's a big old lot right here man they got all kinds of stuff this place takes up like I don't know at least two city blocks at least and he's getting it off for me Man, I've been dealing with rain. I've been driving since, I don't know, 4.10 this morning. <laughs> Sometimes you have these schedules like this where you just have to adjust your sleep. Like, I mean, I got plenty of sleep last night. I got eight hours last night because I turned it all off and went to sleep. Um, but uh, sometimes you're just, you're so you're so stretched for time especially if it takes longer at a, at a shipper um, or a customer right these guys have been on it so when I picked this up yesterday it only took me about an hour and a half to get uh, to get everything switched over and get everything um, secured up and out the door right so that wasn't too bad and then I had to be here by nine o'clock this morning well I was still in North Carolina this this morning when I started off what the hey I picked something up look at there I don't know what that is. Some kind of bag right on that bolt. Uh, yeah. Subway. Look at us picking up litter. I'm going to get back in the truck. It's starting to, it's starting to rain a little harder. All right. We are at Georgia Pacific. Cumberland, Tennessee. Cumberland. Cumberland. Cumberland City? Uh. Maybe? Cumberland City. Ah, uh, anyway. It doesn't really matter. Somewhere in Tennessee. How's that? <laughs> uh. They're gonna load me an hour and 15 minutes early. Hot dang. Doesn't give me enough time to get home tonight. But this load is going to the Maverick Yard tomorrow. Somebody's gonna repower that to to uh, Fletcher, Oklahoma for Friday. Or whenever they get it there, I don't really care. I got a doctor's appointment and dentist appointment on Friday. Here's a pro tip for you is try to schedule all that stuff the same day so you don't have to take multiple days off. They don't have to try to get you home multiple days. Right? Some plan do some planning so that you can maximize your maximize the time you're out here, you know, during the week and you know making money. Making those 
making those ducats to pay those bills. Not that I got a whole lot of bills. I can pay all that stuff off. But we do still have a little bit of Christmas to buy, to buy so. Get it straightened up. That's all right. We got plenty of room to back up and straighten her up. Plenty of room. Plenty. Probably overcorrected. Not in. Trying to get her straight. All right. There we go. Good place. The thing about this place, they give you lots of room to get it right. A lot of these places don't give you a lot of room. Oh, come on, man. Okay. Are back and forth until you get somewhat close. Just what I'm doing. There we go. For those of y'all who don't know and it doesn't, doesn't really click click the bell. A repower. So so the truck is called a power unit, right? You have a truck, no trailer, that's just a power unit. That's your that's your tractor. Okay. So a repower is when we drop a trailer and it's not at its destination. We're at we're at like Maverick or something something right and another driver will drop it and another driver will come along and pick it up and take it the rest of the distance so two different power units on the same load right repower Coming into these places, these these gypsum places and shingle places are tight. Bump the dot. All right, they are tight, tight, tight. I'll show you. So as you can see. It is tight, 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 tight. And it's like that on both sides. See? So now, since we're here, all we got to do is sit around, do nothing, wait for them. I'm going to chop my wheels real quick. <sighs> when you're chalking, don't put it up against the wheel. You gotta spread weight out and it'll it'll stretch it see how i got that right there see that it's just to keep it from moving but she's got me locked in so uh once that spreads out it'll uh it'll spread the truck out a little bit and you'll get that chalk under there that wheel chalk it'd be almost impossible to get it out you'll have to move it forward slide it a little bit it's horrible so, I knew about this and I came down here so I could show you guys the importance of being safe. <clears throat> Why?
while you're trucking is an understatement. When we get up here, I'll show you, but this guy picked up the same place I did, and when he gets down here, dumps his load. So we're gonna be sitting here for a minute, and like I said, I knew I knew this was here, so it's not a big deal. They'll let us through eventually, but mm. so we're still sitting here, and I had a visitor a while ago. Now he's walking off. Where are you going, cow? It's a fat cow, boy. We are still sitting. The blue dot is where I am. This is where I need to be. <laughs> right down here on 40. I'm that far. 24 miles. And we're still sitting here. Oh, I've been sitting here for two, two hours, 20 minutes now. Yup. Check it. We're moving again. Uh, the truck, the tow truck with the truck came by me a while ago. It looked pretty messed up. I hope the guy's all right. So I was talking to a couple of guys a while ago, and apparently one of them was yakking with uh, one of the road crew. And uh, from what I'm understanding, there was, he was coming down this road and somebody pulled out in front of him from a side road and he had to dump it. I hope he's all right. I hope whoever was in the car is okay. It's it's inconvenient for us, but when you're talking about somebody's life or you know potential severe in, um, injury, it's it's okay to dump it. No, oh, looks like a. Oh man, that's rough. Mm, two trucks. Mm, rough, rough, rough. Hope that dude's all right. Mm, I guess it was a Lowe's. Mm, I guess it was a Lowe's that dumped, that came pulled out from. I don't know, man. Uh, that none of that is good. Mm. Well, I got 34 minutes on my clock. Let's get somewhere in park. So I've got everybody passing me right now. That's why I'm in this left-hand lane. <laughs> it's because they're not giving me a chance to actually move over. There we go. And there goes another one. There we go, dude. Just let me over. And then I'll let you pass. There you go. All right. So, so let's... Let, let me give you my opinion on what happened with that wreck. Looking at it as I went by and and the information that I was given while we were sitting there and at the shipper. So I was told at the shipper when I came back out from being loaded that there was a truck turned over down on 13. Okay. Well, in order to get from, from where I was at to the house or to North Little Rock and not go this way it had been like I don't know 50 60 miles out of route okay and I was I, I'm in no hurry I'm going home tomorrow okay I'm, I'm dropping this load off so no big deal I didn't mind sitting there all right so let me so I was told that that there was an overturned truck that one of their that one of the one of the guys that had picked up at my shipper had overturned down on 13 before we've leave. and that's all the information I was given there all right so I get over to that plate to, to where the wreck was and another truck driver had came back down through there walking down through there uh, and had talked to one of the road crew 
and they said that it was a car that ran out in front of that truck and the guy had to dump it to avoid the car or you know you know how that happens I mean you guys have seen wrecks on the road or whatever stuff happens right so getting by there there was another truck in the ditch so that's two semi trucks I did not see a regular car a regular car sitting there but there was a wrecker for a regular car so here's what I think happened I think and then there was a side road over to the right of me and I think that's where the car came out of I, I believe the car came came out of that road in front of one of those two trucks I believe it was probably the the gypsum truck the flatbed the flatbedder had to dump it all of his stuff was laying on the on the on the the opposite lane and I believe the Lowe's truck had to ditch it to avoid hitting the flatbed truck that was probably sliding toward him that's some scary stuff right there man and I don't know if y'all can see it in my in the video but the the Lowe's truck was in the ditch and there was a small creek right there with a with a small concrete bridge going over it and, and I think and, and the cab of that that truck was sitting up against that concrete in the in the creek man that is that is mm. now I can't tell you how fast those trucks were going I don't know how fast they were traveling I can tell you how fast I travel down that road and I we go down that road quite a bit I do I it's 55 down that road but I ba I barely do 45 down that road there's so many hills so many turns uh, so many corners at corners I take it about 25 to 30 and they're rated at 55 I'll do that crap uh, I like I like going home man and I am not in that big of a hurry to get my butt down the road I'm just not I if I'm late I'm late I'm gonna be safe however I do it but I mean it's stuff like that does happen and, and I hate it for them and I hope whoever you know all of these people I hope they are okay trust me I do I, I hate to see it you know please be careful out here if you're not if you're not driving a truck if you're in a if you're in a, a, a car or a pickup truck or a small van or whatever Man, be careful on these roads. Give these trucks some area, some room. I'm I was guilty of it before I started driving. I'm not telling you anything I didn't do. Okay, I'd zoom up in front of a truck and fill a hole. I don't do it anymore. I got firsthand knowledge of this stuff now. There's no way I stay my butt and be patient right behind that truck. Because if I can see that truck in front of me. I can swerve to get out of its way if something happens. I sure don't want them running me over. Man, that's rough right there, man. Hmm, let's go.